I don't know my exact count of how many seasons I've been doing this, but it never gets boring to me. It's still like a little bit of magic there. Well, a lot of magic there. Like, especially the last day, even though you're like so tired and you're ready for this to be over, it's still so fun to see Marc Jacobs because that's the last day, Ralph Lauren. I still get excited. I had a last year fashion week outfit kind of already like planned in my mind. And then during fashion week, I saw a presentation of a young designer, Pierre Moss. He's a menswear designer and he was wearing this shirt and it has all of the names of all of the black men that have been killed by police brutality and cases that haven't been brought to justice. And I was like, I need that shirt. I have to have it. It's such a good message. It's something that's like really important to the designer. It's something that was like really important to me. So I like hunted him down and like basically begged him for the shirt off of his back. And he was really, really sweet to, to give that to me. Going to 560 Washington Street at West Houston. I love it. And what's your little next car? Oh, we are all in the same color family. Not you, Kathy. You can't walk no, with us. You, you can't. Half of the crew is called the Black Girl Mafia, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> From like various white hipsters <laughs> that are vegan. Yes, various white vegan hipsters. Yes. That's the rest of our crew. The other day well, like, she had this outfit on and I was like, well, I don't like this because you just look fat. Pants. Like, you don't look pregnant. Shaggy you look pants. Fat. Yeah. That's my favorite look. <laughs> and she was, I was like, so you just told a pregnant person they look fat. <laughs> I know how personal these pregnant people take things like that. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to see Enoir. They're another pretty new brand. She has, like, one guy designer. Lots of black, lots of leather. You go to like a Ralph show and you go to a bigger show and you know it's going to be amazing. You know the set's going to be amazing. You know, a lot of time and effort and money went into it. But these younger designers that are kind of doing everything on their own, a lot of them don't have investors yet. And so you see the struggle. So it's like a little rewarding to see what they end up putting on their runway. And you feel very proud of them because they're like our age or younger. So it's like your peers that are finally on the come up. How are you, baby? Wait, wait, hold on. I was surprised at no leather, but I did like the girl stuff. It was really pretty. You did good. Don't Richie. be nervous. <laughs> See you later. I'm really excited for Calvin. Calvin's always really beautiful. It's minimal. I'm not really a minimal girl, but there's always things that I want from that Calvin show. It's a, it's a good afternoon. So we have Calvin, and then Office, and then Mark Jacobs. It's really crazy because we are still shooting during all of the fashion weeks. So it's like in between shows, either someone has a shoot or we have to plan for our next month. Cosmo works really far in advance. So we have to have a weekly meeting to go over all of the FOB, like the shopping sections, which is kind of what I manage. We're hitching a ride to Marc Jacobs with the lovely town and country team. A lot of people have like fashion friends and people that they hang out with during shows, but it's not just a surface friendship. Like I feel like I moved to New York by myself and I didn't have any family here and I didn't know anyone in New York. And so it's like the friendships I made here were actually like genuine, meaningful friendships for me. So I'm sure that other people have very meaningful relationships with their group of friends, but our clique is the best. So it's like, I only have to concern myself with like me and my group of friends and the people who give a shit about me. Like, you end on a high because you see Marc Jacobs. Yeah. So it's like, it's always good. The set's always good. And so you're happy when it ends. It's not like you're like, the last show is a show that sucks. You know, you're ending kind of on a high. And so you forget that you hated every other day this week. It's over. <laughs> Cheers. One quarter of it.
Thanks for hanging.